Yo, yo, welcome to the official NBA 2K18 dribbling tutorial. Before you start, make sure to switch to the 2K16 controller to optimize your dribble moves. The first move is the crossover, and to be able to perform this, flick the left, I mean the right stick to the left and to the right, depending on which hand you're using. And make sure to use it correctly, or you might get the, the ball stolen. To be able to perform the jab step, you'll have to get the ball from the opponent first, then you'll have to flick your right stick up, and you'll perform, be able to knock, get your defender off guard, and you can just rise up for a shot, or you can just go right by him. The next dribble move is one of my favorite moves, the step back. And so to be able to perform it, just uh, flick the, le the right stick to the left diagonally or to the right diagonally. The next move is the in and out dribble, and to be able to perform it, you can just uh, flick the right stick up, and while you're moving, flick the right stick up for a deadly crossover. Like every dribble, the hesitation dribble is used to get your defender off guard, so flick the right stick to the right or to the left depending on which hand you're using, and you'll be able to get your defender off guard for an easy shot, but make sure to use the hesitation dribble correctly, I promise you, if you do, you'll be, you'll be alright. The spin and the half spin is one of the deadliest moves in 2K18. To be able to perform it, move the right stick around or in a half spin. Bruh. The next move is the between the legs. It's hard to perform, but like I said, put the right stick diagonally without moving. And like I said, you can put, you can put, you can use it, and you can perform deadly dribble, really deadly dribble, and you'll snap some ankles that deadly. The next move is called the ISO moving dribble. To be able to perform it, you gotta move the left stick up really slowly, and the right stick, like you can do any crossover with the right stick, just move it up slowly, and you'll be able to perform it. The next move is what I like to call the cross snatch back. And what you, how to be able to perform this is you gotta simultaneously the left stick and the right stick have to flick towards each other. If you master it, you can vary it to different crossover that can create you a lot of space the next dribble move is called the quick double cross and what you'll be able to do is the right stick and left stick have to go out like out the opposite way towards each other and you'll be able to perform a quick double cross that's deadly enough to snatch anyone's ankles this move it's to create space but you, first what you have to do is move the left stick backwards and be, be careful, because if you're doing this in-game, you might get a backward violation if you do it too much. But yeah, go move the left stick down and the right stick that down too. So basically do it at the same time, you'll be able to perform this, this move. You're not supposed to catch ankles though. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Feel, feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing lots of tutorials for this in the future. Let's hit, hmm, let's hit 10 likes and let's see what I will do. Let's see what I'll do, okay? But yeah, make sure to use these crossovers and different variations to snap these angles for me. Do it for me, though. Do it for me. I mean, do it for me, though, okay? Do it for me. It's not that hard to perform these kind of dribble moves, but once you master them, it'll, it'll be easy. Make sure you use the 2K16 controller. I don't know how it's gonna work for the uh, other controllers, but yeah, that's how it's gonna work. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.